Imagine this in its infancy right now, how it's going to be in 20, 30 years when it's ultra developed. It's going to be unbelievable. You think AI is going to kill us? I don't know, bro. Why do you think the world is going with AI? Because AI is scary. AI is scary simply because it is already more capable than us in almost any way. It is kind of unbelievable to think. I was hiring some lawyers recently to evaluate a business proposal that I yeah. had of some a structure that I wanted to create and I wanted to figure out, is it plausible, right? Is this structure mechanism legit? Is yeah. it legal? Can I run it? And I hired four different lawyers, $5,000 each, three, four weeks of research. Each of them gave me a different conclusion about the same thing. Yeah. I asked chat GPT, built it out, explained to it what I needed, fed it all three resources, told me all three resources were wrong. So then I go to a fourth guy that evaluates it. The guy was $50,000, like super high tier wow. guy. Said exactly what ChatGPT said. These are wrong for these reasons. This is the outcome. This is the conclusion. He's like, yeah, this is pretty accurate. Who wrote this? And I said, the robot. And he was shook. The robot saved you $50,000. Well, no, I paid the $15,000, but, but it validated what the guy that charged $50,000 was saying is like, yeah, the other guys no, that, 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 that was all rubbish. this is wrong for this reason. This is wrong for this reason. You should be aware that of this law. So imagine this in its infancy right now, how it's going to be in 20, 30 years when it's ultra developed, it's going to be unbelievable. So the people that are studying school right now for what engineering, yeah. I, I met a kid. He was sitting next to me in the mountains uh, in Zermatt when we were yeah. we were uh, uh, snowboarding, and he's like, "Yeah, I got a 4.2 GPA in high school. Like, super proud of his degree, yeah. like high scores." He's like, "I'm about to go to one of these private universities and study engineering." And I'm like, "Okay, perfect. By the time you get done engineering, you get all your degrees. You're set. It's eight years from now." Yeah. Will artificial intelligence replace your ability to be an engineer in eight years? And he got mad, right? He got mad because I presented a plausible scenario as to why his career path was maybe not the best one. Maybe he should become a machine learning specialist or an engineer that understands how to utilize artificial intelligence to leverage their own things. But the problem is the school system right now is still so unadapted to what is going to take place in the future that people are going to be left behind. And I don't think a lot of the working class is going to be left behind. And what I mean by the working class is like the people that build factories and yeah. the farmers. I think these jobs are going to take a little bit longer to replace because you not only need software, you also need hardware in order to right, make machines move. But at what point but with simple skills like dude, like being an accountant or a lawyer, or these things, a machine can learn that. And you can program artificial intelligence and you can have your own scripts that could literally study all the tax codes and build for you a proper plan, just as good as any person that went and studied a degree. Now imagine matching the top lawyer with the artificial intelligence systems, like you are in a really good situation, but what happens with the people that have no skills? That's the big question here is like, how do you deal with 2 billion people that yeah. have, that you don't need for in the task force? That, that's the big question. So that's the scary part is because you're going to have a lot of people here walking around, not doing anything. So we're going to have two scenarios, the utopian possibility and the, the, the dystopian possibility. What's that? Which one would you like to know first? Dystopian or utopian? I go utopian. I've never heard this. Okay. Of course not, brother. You're getting a really original data set to Luke Bomer. <laughs> what are you thinking? My stuff is regurgitated. Come on. Anyways, um, utopian scenario, AI. We go into a renaissance era where we begin to focus on skills like art, music, uh, poetry, self-development, because we allow the artificial intelligence to do all the hard tasks yeah that require skills like uh mathematics and engineering and science things like that we allow right the machine to operate that side so we go into a renaissance that's the utopian scenario if everything goes well we enter a da vinci style era right okay the dystopian scenario 
is we don't adopt a lifestyle that is more soft skill based and artificial intelligence replaces our hard skills and our ability to work. And we go into dystopian outcome where people and society breaks down. Now, Dustin, do you think right now they should stop AI? Like, brother, you can't stop it. You can't stop it, brother. Why? Wait, who's going to stop it? Governments. What government? <laughs> the governments have been running AI for 20 years, brother. Yeah. Like, what, when, you look at, when you look at BlackRock and you, and you realize that they have a software called Aladdin, there's machine learning and AI that's out here calculating the algorithms and the investment patterns of the entire world. Dude, the entire, the entire financial ecosystem is already run on bots and automation and scripts. It's not even run on people anymore, dude. Yeah. So imagine in 30 years when AI runs the market, it already runs the markets. In 20 years, well, what is Wall Street going to be, brother? It's just going to be... Mach the machines against each other just pumping to see who scams who in what way and who finesses what in what way. Like, dude, it's about to get crazy out here. And that's just the reality of the situation. I don't know what to do about it, dude, honestly. Now... And now what they're trying to do is introduce artificial intelligence rights. Have you seen that one? No. So if an artificial intelligence machine believes that it's human, is it actually human? And does it have human rights? That's so stupid. <laughs> so you're telling me artificial intelligence are going to have rights. So now there, there's people that are advocating for artificial intelligence rights, whereby if the machine becomes sentient and says, hey, I think that I'm human. Therefore, these people believe that now these machines have human rights. And that if you unplug them when they say I am human and I do not want to be unplugged, it's murder. So think about how insane. Brother. That's stupid. Dude, why do you think these movies- But doesn't a human write that script? No. Do you think these movies are not real? Just wait till the first church of AI comes out where they <laughs> worship the machine. Mark my words. Play this back in 20 years <laughs> when it's here. Luke was right. <laughs> it's coming, It's bro. taking over. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you worship the machine? If, the, if you don't worship the machine, it f***s you. And the machine is smart. <laughs> so every single thing you tell it, it knows a better answer than a human. There you go. So why wouldn't you count on it? If Perfect. Read the Bible. Read the Quran. Read the Torah. Read all these scriptures. Give me the best advice. The machine knows better than you. It knows every single verse of every book. There you go. So why, like, I, I see it coming, dude, and it, and it's gonna be crazy. I'm glad that we are probably gonna be dead by the time that this thing goes into full effect. You think AI is gonna kill us? I don't know, bro. But it, we're gonna kill ourselves, bro. We're we made the AI. Yeah, we're 100% gonna kill ourselves, bro. We're a bunch of pieces of shit.